Nice. So I've been using the scalloped side of the blade. This is for the normal areas of your face, more broad or flat. I'm gonna switch over now to the flat side, and these are for the more sensitive areas. And I'm gonna work right here, here, and under my nose. And I'm taking my time, guys. I'm loving this so far. Nice heft to the razor. I wanted to let the video breathe for a little bit. Sometimes I think I might talk too much. Um, this first pass, I went with the grain of the hair on my face. Hair grows down. I've been going down. About a 30 degree angle, 30, 35. And short, choppy strokes. But letting the nice heft of the razor do the work and it's just it was beautiful guys i'm gonna keep my blade nice and wet and now i'm gonna go and attack the the neck which primarily neck hair grows up so to shave with the grain i'm gonna flip the blade over using the scallop side on the broad part and again short light strokes remember guys we're not digging we're shaving all right let's attack the other side and there's no need to rush if you're rushing get a cartridge razor get a gillette there's room in your medicine cabinet or more than one blade, guys, or get one blade. Wow. Now I'm gonna flip to the smooth side of the blade to attack the Adam's apple. A couple ways you can do this. You've seen the show, you know. Swallow hard and hold it will eliminate your Adam's apple. It kind of just tucks under. So I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna swallow and hold it rather. And that takes the Adam's apple out of play. First pass in the books, guys. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna do a cross grain cut. So I'll lather up again. And for pass number two, do a cross grain cut. I'm on level indicator number six, which is sort of right in the middle. It's in the experienced shavers section, right in the middle. And then for pass three, I'm gonna drop down to a more mild setting, maybe a one, just to do that fine last pass, that against the green pass, but let's Put a little warm water on the skin and let's uh, lather up one more time. And really, I'm just putting a little bit of warm water on, guys. And I'm going back to my Gillette foam mousse. Now, I choose this anytime I get a new razor because I know the characteristics. I know if it's a good shave or a bad shave. And I don't want to blame the razor for just bad cream. So if I don't... I've never used something before. I'm going to sneak it in 
to a shave where I at least know the razor and the conditions I'm putting. Because ultimately it's the razor that I'm concerned about for this review. I want to make sure I'm representing the razor in its best light or at least on level, a level playing field. I'm going to let the video breathe again, guys. So limited commentary. Let me know if you like this approach. You know, I, I think sometimes I might drown out some of the beautiful sounds, the feedback you're going to be hearing from this razor. But I'll just set it up. Nice cross grain strokes. I'm going to be very, very careful on the neck. If I have to, I just won't do it. But I'll be very careful. All right. So here goes. Here goes nothing. Cross grain. I'm going to switch to the flat side, the more sensitive side for under my nose here. I'm also going to attack right around by the jaw and this top part of the neck with the smooth side, the less aggressive side. Because you can really get into trouble with the cross grain, or at least I can. Has two in the books, y'all. Oh, just, just beautiful, beautiful weight to this. The ability to switch back and forth. You can tell the difference between the two sides. This smooth side, much less aggressive, guys. All right, so a little bit more warm water as a base to set up for the final, third and final pass. Feeling around to see where I may have missed some spots, right here a little bit. Same spots, mostly, on the jawline here. But for the most part, guys, baby, smooth skin. All right, last pass for today. I'm going to load up with Gillette Foam Mousse one more time. I like to go real thin with it. This last pass is just my preference, guys. You do what works for you. Love Gillette foam mousse. And I've heard they're discontinuing it, which kind of pisses me off, to be honest with you. But hey, there's got to be a reason, right? Last and final pass. Now, the beauty of this Vikings Blade adjustable razor. Not only do you have a smooth comb side, which is less aggressive, a scalloped comb side, which is more aggressive, intra blade, but you can drop this setting down. So I'm on a six, which is mid aggressive, right? I'm gonna drop that down for the final pass. I'm gonna drop it down to like a two in the least aggressive 
setting one, two, and three. So it pulls that blade back for the third and final against the grain pass. So for the third and final pass against the grain, hair grows down on my face. I'm gonna be shaving up with the scallop side for the most part and take it nice and slow. God, I feel the difference. So much more protection. It almost feels like I don't even, don't even feel like I need to switch over to that less aggressive side, but I will the next time I hit up that sensitive area. You hear that blade? Very, very nice. I'll flip over to the flat side. guys all right let's get to the neck now hair grows on my neck upward so traditional handle grip and shaving down again choppy or short strokes guys between a two and the setting I'm using now, and a six, the setting I used before. There's a lot of difference, guys. A lot less aggression. Much easier shave, or much easier go. Much more confident go this way. And a nice final pass. All right, I'll use the flat side or the sensitive side, and I will attack the Adam's apple one more time again. Swallow and hold. Another technique is you could push the skin or pull it and get to those hairs. But I like the swallow and hold it technique, guys. Very, very, very nice. Now, one of the viewers, and I'm sorry that I don't remember who this was, so I can't give you credit, but if you know who you are and when you see this, just let me know and I'll give you credit. As a pre-shave, you're using warm water to open the pores, get the beard ready, the bristles ready to receive the blade. So at the end of the shave, one of the viewers told me, try this, splash some cold water on your face to close the pores and get ready for that aftershave that's coming next. So let's try that. And my man is right. Nice and exhilarating. At the end of the shave, pat your skin dry, don't rake, because you only have one face. And you fellas know I like Duke Cannon's aftershave balm. It's ice cold. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on. But I tell you what, guys, no irritation, no nicks, no cuts, no tugs, nothing. Nice weight to my new Vikings blade. Beautiful, guys. Baby smooth. No redness, no nicks, no tugs, nothing. No irritation. I'm feeling no pain, guys. So my Vikings blade, the Emperor Augustus adjustable DE safety razor, average guy tested.
Average guy approved. Check that out. Just beautiful. This color is cognac. So a nice gold and cognac. Beautiful. Or this is brass colored. Whatever you like. Just a beautiful razor, guys. I love this ability to adjust the aggressiveness of it. Next time, I'm going to goose it up to eight or nine. And I'm going to take my chances. But I want to thank you all for watching as usual. I'll be back with more videos. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Is there anything I'm missing? Is there anything you want me to review? And within reason, I'll try to do it. But I'm loving this, guys. Loving it. And I want to thank my boy Carl Cito4633 for sending me the Astra Blades, the superior Astra Blades that I used in this review today. Carl, I want to thank you for your support. I have joined the Adjustable DE Safety Razor Club. Brah. And I love it. Mm. Baby smooth. It's a beautiful thing, bruh. You're going to keep pushing play.